Yo, what's going on guys, it is your boy Yamanaka's boys and here, just me, myself and I back again for another video and today is going to be a little evaluation video on how I did in the Red Cloud Tournament. First off, I just want to say uh, big props to my partner Suzukuno Kyoku, he was the guy who fought alongside me in the tournament and I believe we just did really well together. Um, yeah, we both we both fought really well, um, we obviously didn't make it through to like the finals or anything, we didn't win. But um, I think we got like third place, so that's still pretty good for us. And uh, yeah, I believe we did pretty well. Also, another thing, just to quickly uh, just put out there, the music you're gonna hear in this uh, fight, because um, the, the the fight I'm gonna show you from the tournament footage, Kion and Falco didn't put any music on it. So I actually decided to put um, some music um, that I like on it instead. And the music actually has been composed is from this YouTuber named Alex. And what she does is that she does a bunch of like um, like guitar like uh, covers and stuff. And she does really good covers of like some great bands that I listen to. I'm not sure if many of you do listen to his bands, but they're personal favorites of mine. And she does does great like covers and great riffs of those um, of those bands. And uh, I'm gonna be putting like her music in a lot of my fights from now on. I've asked her and I got permission from her as after I spoke to her and she gave me the thumbs up so uh, yeah I expect to listen to a lot of her uh, you know metal slash rock riffs in, her, in, our, uh, in my fights it's gonna sound amazing so anyways um, today's video is gonna be me just reflecting on myself um, on the Red Cloud tournament like I said I think Suzo did fine for himself we did make a couple of mistakes in terms of uh, you know the rules like I accidentally chose a different team when I won one fight and when I went on to the next fight I chose a complete different team and then I think Souza he broke the rules by accident by use uh, by choosing uh, a banned map that Kion chose before him I think <laughs> yeah, yeah Kion chose the map before him and then Souza chose the same map <laughs> after Kion lost his life so um, but no I wasn't mad about it I, I was fine um, I just thought it was pretty funny to be honest um, yeah, it, it was a great tournament. Uh, the only downside to it is that I had to stay up really late. Like, it, those of you who were in the stream knew I had to stay up till about, like, it was 6 a.m. my time. I was up for hours, just sat there, just staring at the stream. I actually did, uh, for, like, the people who were fighting before me and Suza, I did actually take a little nap and just sort of slept and, like, subconsciously listened to, like, what was going on. And when I heard that the fight ended, I woke up, I messaged Suza. And then we both got in the, uh, the lobby and then we fought Kion and Falco, who we lost to. But um, I want to talk about the fights um, leading up to those moments. So the, our first opponents, um, I believe we did pretty well against. Um, we won just with all our lives. It was like a, like a nice clean sweep for the both of us. And it really did raise our confidence because we were kind of good into the tournament. Like you, uh, you know, we, were we gonna do good? Like how how are we gonna do here? And um, yeah, we clean sweeped it. Uh, two, to, you know, two two zero zero on our lives is perfect. Uh, just you know exactly how we wanted. Um, yeah, it, our opponents did really well. Um, in those battles, and then uh, yeah, after that we fought uh, it's Dilika and his partner. That was really fun too. I think it was Dilika and actual Rocky, I believe. I can't remember. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But um, yeah, um, and yeah, we did well there. And then the, obviously we I lost my life on accident because I chose like the wrong like team um, uh, team person. And I think Souza lost. I think Souza lost a life due to an actual loss. I think my memory is terrible. But um, yeah, I overall I think the tournament went well. I think Falco and Keon's commentating. I said this in my last video, but I think their commentating was great. Uh, it was so on point. Like they could literally just host more tournaments with that great comment uh, great commentary. It was great. Um, actually, inspires me to do commenting again. Like, if any of you watch my like revolution videos, I used to do like battle commentaries for my friends. Like, my friends would fight and then I commentate over it. Um, it sort of inspired me to do that again. So I might do a little bit more of that in the future. Um, but yeah, overall, the tournament I thought was pretty fun. There was a little bit of shaky drama in the chat between a few people and stuff, which I'm not going to get too much into. Um, but other than that, like I said, the tournament's all about having fun. And fun is basically what I had. The tournament basically fulfilled its purpose to me, and I had a lot, uh, a lot of fun with it. So this fight, one fight specifically that I want to show you is my best fight, right? Ironically, it's the one I got the two stock in, but um, it's how I got the two stock, which actually kind of amazed me. I wasn't really expecting to get this two stock, really, because Dilika is pretty good, but it's what I did during the fight that kind of like surprised me a little bit. 
and it made me feel a lot more confident now when fighting people, especially in competitive fights. So usually, if you know me really well, I don't like to awaken that often. Awakening to me is... I don't mind it, like you can awaken on me all the time and I'll be completely fine with it. It's just... Uh, no, I feel when I awaken, I mess up a lot, I make a lot of mistakes, and then I somehow choke the match. But um, I already had a pretty good stock lead on Dilika by the time I awakened, and I used a lot of jutsus, and I started like getting a zoning distance between us, and I pushed him back. And then I thought to myself, you know, my chakra's high, why not just awaken and give everyone a good show, right? That's kind of what I was thinking, because, you know, fun. So I awakened, and I got my triple awakening, because my storm cage was completely full. And um, I just started wrecking havoc, dude. He fucking dashed towards me, but it was like, obviously, because he's like in a normal state, and I'm awakening state, if you dash, you sort of like, you're allowing yourself to get punished by dashing into them you're supposed to sort of cancel your dash before you get to the awakening but um no he sort of dashed right into me and i was like oh sweet <laughs> so i just started swinging at him and oh my god dude i just took so much health i'm just watching this health go down and i was like i was getting hype i was like yeah yeah so i just started fucking switching characters and doing jutsus and shit and more convos and kion and fucko right like, oh damn yeah i was fucking taking out all this stuff i'm like yeah <laughs> i'm just swinging around <laughs> and um yeah by the time my awakening was over and i got out of it um he was down to like red health and I'm literally in a good two stock position like I just had to like just keep up the composure that I had going the whole fight just to get that two stock and luckily that's what I did and I got it and I believe I earned it pretty well. Um, obviously no offense or no um, no harm to Dilika. Dilika fought really well. Um, his offense was actually getting pretty good. Um, a, lot, a lot of the fight I was running away quite a lot and having to evade his attacks um, with, due to his good offense. So yeah Dilika fought really well. He did great. But um, yeah, I was just really proud of that um, that awakening. I thought uh, that that was a good match of mine. So uh, yeah, here's gonna be the match. Um, yeah, be sure to listen, listen to that music that I'm gonna have playing in the background. It's from my friend Alex. She does great, um, great songs. And um, yeah, yeah, be sure to yeah just watch and enjoy. Uh, that's what I've got to say. As always, it's been your boy Yamnaka's Poison. Yeah, we'll see you here. What's gonna happen? All right, hold on. Let's see what the connection. If the connection's bad, they'll just sit there. Looks fine. Looks like they're playing. All right, it looks good. I hear your TV, Funko. I think. No, I don't think it's my TV. All right. Cause it's really low, so it's definitely not mine. All right. All right, Yamanaka is getting right. in there with all those leader switch jutsus. My goodness, it's Alika looking like, like a, looking scared. Ooh, got caught in that too, man. Doesn't know what to do. Switched out for the strike back. That was pretty, pretty ridiculous. All right, good move there from Salika. Wasting a sub there. Not sure why from a shuriken. I think it does look like he's. Hit. Yeah, it looks like he's playing a little too nervous. Yeah, and not just you know one hit and that's it. Usually when you see. You know, play like that, it's usually because they're too nervous to get hit, too nervous to get hit uh, by, you know, a dash, a substitution dash, or anything. Yeah, but man, when you sub that earlier, you're playing right into the game. Yeah, Yamanaka sees this, he knows he's scared. This is not looking good for Asalika from the start. You don't want to let your opponent know that you're feeling the pressure, because then the pressure comes off of them. Knowing that you are, you know, scared to fight him. Yep. But, uh, Delica, he's still in the game, though. Like, I, I wouldn't count him out right now. Yeah, not yet. Anything's possible still. Still a lot of um, matches to go as far as, you know, these rounds. Hmm. Alright, Yama buying a little bit of time there. Getting on with Yama that with Lynch with Jutsu. He's getting with some basic things and it's working uh -oh. yeah Dilika's just not he's not playing as well as, as we've seen him before yeah. yeah he's just making some not so smart moves making some pretty costly mistakes all right finally getting in there doing a little yeah, bit of mashing. a little bit of damage okay and a little bit of damage oh man but everything Yama is doing looks like it's just clustering ah, he can't him. catch him 
I feel like you yeah. cannot catch this man when, when he runs out of yeah, subs and just... he wants to get away. You cannot yeah, catch he's, this man. his avoiding skills is still on point here. But he did win his last match, so you know he could be feeling himself, could be very confident in his abilities. A lot more warmed up than his Salika after, you know, going into a fight after another. Let's see, was he going to awaken? No, he's gonna I try and go after him, but he gets caught. He had the firewall there, I don't see why he didn't do it. Maybe he doesn't like awakening, you know. Some players are like that. Doesn't feel like he's gonna get a lot done. But here he comes. Nine seconds already, I can't oh my, believe yeah, it. Yama runs the time out. Man. And now it looks like Suza's poison is... They're in a good gonna, spot right now. Yeah, definitely. definitely. If it's Delica, if it's Delica loses this match, their team is out. So this is his last stand. Oh man, subbing everything yet again. Already down two subs from Yamanakis. Truly ridiculous here. I think just knowing that you are the last of your team with one life could definitely, you know, make you play this way. So I don't blame him too much, but he's really got to focus up if he wants any chance of winning. Yeah, but this, this game is it's full of comebacks. He can come back easily. Definitely. Oh, here we go. Already a oh, start here, here for him. Back. Let's see. Down Let's combo? See. Down combo? Yeah, yeah. got him to waste that sub. All right. Oh, Ooh, he, he actually him caught him. Definitely has a chance. All right, let's see. What is he going to do? He's going to try Awaken. No, he's just going to keep a barrier, firewall. He needs some chakra. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. He oh, he subbed the no. shuriken. Oh my wow. god, he woke him back up with the jutsu. Wow, he has so much life before this incident. Now and he's gonna Yama go for the awakening. awakening. Probably the best time to go for the awakening is also. He has a full stock and it's league only has one. Doing a lot of damage with that jutsu and now he's gonna oh, get him with the suicidal like arms. Guys. This is not good for him at all. No. This is really bad. If I was Dilika right now, I would not know what to do. Okay, yeah, oh my like... god, with the switch! Oh my god, we see all the characters on the screen. This is Oh my god. Wow. Just like that, brought him all the way down to the same amount of health as him. Wow. Ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculousness by Yamanaka's poison. Ooh, oh my goodness. Combo and that, that might be a DG, folks. I, I want to believe in, in, in Dil, but... I just can't right now. It's like a slaughter. If I if I was playing a player like Yamanaka, man, and that is when it. I have health lead, I would just not dash him. <laughs> like it, it was hard to catch him the whole game. And uh, Suzu Poison come out with the W on that one. So we're on to the next game. And what is the next game? Right now, it should be. It should be Beast Gamer Pro, which is the Prophets, versus Symmetric Chaos Reborn.